Introduction to Networking Part 2 Network Media Wired Connection Types of Wired Connection such as Ethernet cables, twisted pair, fiber optic cables. Its function is to transmit data between devices through physical connections. Technology used in wireless connections are Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and FCS. Its function is to enable communication without physical cable. Protocols TCPIP protocols. The TCPIP protocol, which stands for Transmission Control Protocol or Internet Protocol, is a suite of communication protocols used to interconnect network devices on the Internet and other computer networks. Developed in 1970s and 1980s TCP IP has become the foundation of the modern internet and is widely used for communication between devices. Here is a brief overview of the two main components of the TCP IP protocol suite. Transmission Control Protocol and Internet Protocol. Transmission Control Protocol is a connection-oriented protocol. It means it establishes a reliable connection between two devices before data exchange begins. It ensures that data is delivered accurately and in the correct order. If there are any issues during transmission, TCP will retransmit the data. Internet Protocol is responsible for addressing and routing data packets between devices on a network. It assigns unique IP addresses to each devices, allowing them to be identified on the network. Unlike TCP, IP is connectionless, meaning that it does not establish a direct connection before sending data. Each data packet is treated independently and is responsible for finding its way to the destination. HTTP or HTTPS protocols. HTTP or Hypertext Transfer Protocol is a standard protocol for transferring data on the web. It sends data in plain or simple text. HTTPS is a secure version of HTTP. It encrypts data during transmission for increased security. It uses encryption protocols like TLS or SSL and is indicated by HTTPS in the URL. FTP or File Transfer Protocol FTP or File Transfer Protocol is a standard network protocol used for the transfer of files between a client, such as your computer, and a server. A remote computer or file server on a computer network. It is commonly used for uploading and downloading files to and from servers, making it an essential tool for file management. SMTP or POP3 protocol. Simple mail transfer protocol and post office protocol are protocols used in email communications. They handle different aspects of the email process. SMTP is responsible for sending emails while POP is used for receiving them. Simple Mail Transfer Protocol is used for sending outgoing emails from a client to a server or between servers. Post Office Protocol used for retrieving incoming emails from an email server to a client device.
networking concepts. IP addressing. IP addressing is a fundamental aspect of computer networking and it involves assigning unique numerical identifiers called IP addresses to devices on a network. These addresses are crucial for devices to communicate with each other over the internet or any other network. IP addressing operates at the network layer 3 of the OSI model. IP version 4 of 32-bit and IP version 6 of 128-bit are the two prevalent versions of IP addresses. IP version 4 is the most widely used IP addressing scheme. It consists of four sets of decimal numbers. IP version 6 is developed to address the limitations of IP version 4. It uses a longer format with hexadecimal characters. Subnetting Subnetting involves dividing an IP network into smaller, manageable subnetworks or subnets. It reduces network congestion and enhances performance by segmenting traffic. It improves security by isolating different parts of a network. Routing Routing is the process of selecting the best path for data to travel between devices in a network. It maintains and examines information about available routes and their associated matrices. Dynamic routing protocols automatically adjust to network changes, while static routing involves manually configuring routes. Firewall A firewall is a security device or software that monitors and controls incoming and outgoing network traffic based on a predetermined security rules. It examines data packets and allows or blocks them based on predefined rules. It acts as an intermediary between internal and external networks. Domain Name System A DNS or Domain Name System is like a phone book for the Internet. It translates easy-to-remember domain names like www.example.com into the actual IP addresses that computers use to find each other on the network. It's a hierarchical system with servers worldwide that work together to make internet browsing user-friendly. Server and Workstations Server A server is an application or device that performs service for connected clients as a part of client-server architecture. It can also be a computer system that has been designated for running a specific server application. The server keeps files such as HTML, images, video and application available online for the client to access and allow sharing of applications on the internet. A server can be many types such as an application server, web server, etc. Workstation It is a personal computer that is used for high-end applications such as graphic design, video editing, etc. 
It has a fast processor, multiple hard drives and a lot of RAM. It is also called a client. GUI or graphical user interface. Workstations have the highest quality graphical user interface with efficient video and audio qualities as they mostly do work related to video or audio editing. Thanks for watching. For more information like, subscribe and share vision of technology.